And uh, I'm here today to tell you that you, the teacher, are real life heroes, that you have superpowers, that you have the ability to teleport yourself to the homes of the visually impaired children in your class anytime you want. And no, you don't need to have or wear any mask for that. But there is one thing you need. You need your TARDIS. You need your time and space machine. And that is the Tactile Images Reader app, which I will please ask you to download it from the App Store free of charge right now. Just point the iPhone to the QR code if you have a uh, iPhone or download any other QR code reader from Android. The different, uh, it's a different experience, but please do this. This will make sense later on. So I'm waiting for a couple of seconds to hear that you downloaded the app. So please raise your hand or Etelka, please tell me if somebody commented. Yeah, okay. Uh... It's important to download the app because what I'm gonna tell you today and show you today, it's in your home. It's accessible to you right now. So it's true, <laughs> it's live. So it's uh, important to point the camera to the QR code and install the app. I'll wait just more to get a notification from someone who has an iPhone or anybody else has a QR code reader. Uh, Dan, pot să te întrerup o secundă? Avem o rugăminte de la interpretul nostru care traduce acum în limba română ceea ce spui tu, că participanții sunt în majoritate români, să vorbești puțin mai tare. Cred că nu te aude bine. Ok. Așa, mulțumesc. Mai bine, mai tare acum? Zicea, era bun un microfon. <laughs> ok. Dacă stai mai aproape, se aude un pic mai bine, da. Da, ia să încercăm așa, poate mai bine. Brunz, uh, any signs from... Uh... What could Dennis downloaded it? Okay. <laughs> so I can pass this uh, subject. Now let's get talking about education. Jean-Pierre Piaget believed that special thinking gets better with age. Why? because in time we are exposed to a gradual, more conscious encounter with the world around us. It's exactly this interaction that stands at the basis of spatial education and the spatial, spatial education. I don't pronounce very good spatial like NASA and so it's spatial education. And the lack of interaction with the surrounding environment, it's the one that makes children with visual, hearing, or multisensory impairments miss learning opportunities. According to the studies, in the case of typical children, the abilities of reaching for objects appear around the age of five months, where in the case of visually impaired children, these abilities happen only at age of 10 months. This means that we can already observe a major discrepancy regarding the spatial abilities of children with sensory impairments. Spatial education comes to fill this gap, exposing children with sensory impairments to a wide variety of objects of different sizes, different shapes, and in different positions. And this will help them create a coherent mental images of the world around and improve orientation and mobility skills. This is why teacher of people uh, with sensory impairments have the mission of conceiving all that the children cannot perceive. 
Interaction with real objects is the main way of teaching special education to children, spatial education to children with visual impairments or multisensory deficiencies. But what do we do when we want to teach different type of dogs, for example? Can we have 50 breeds of dogs around us? No. We resort to tactile material, such as tactile graphics, drawings with raised surfaces that children relate to by touch. Tactile graphics are not only about finding out how the world looks, they're also useful if you want to teach children with visual impairments STEM subjects. Spatial skills strongly predict who will go into STEM fields. But why is it the future? We argue that the spatial skills serves as a gateway or a barrier for entry into STEM fields. I have to read this code because it's a long one. I have more um, phrases and you wouldn't read it out of the presentation. But the thing is that experts often, of, uh, the experts have a mental representation that allows them to solve problem without having to use special thinking. For example, an expert chemist who knows a great deal about the structure and behavior of a particular molecule may not need to mentally rotate a representation of this molecule in order to make a decision about it. Novices who have low levels of spatial skills may not be able to advance to the point at which spatial skills become less important. This is another code. So now let's imagine it's November 2019. We are at school. It's Tuesday morning and you are teaching geography to a class of visually impaired children. Let's say you are teaching the tactile map of Romania and you go to the first student, take his hand in yours, help him explore and patiently explain what he is touching. It's a process that takes time and patience, but you love, you love the connection that you have with every child. Now, fast forward to November, 2020, you are home away from all the children and teaching the map of Romania, it's practically impossible. You just cannot share the screen on Zoom to a visually impaired children. But what does this mean? Does it mean that teaching spatial education will stop for all the visually impaired children? What if, God forbid, lockdowns become the new norm forever? How would visually impaired children study subjects based on graphics then? Since I made this speech sound like a post-apocalyptic, I think it's time to present you that the world saving hero that we all are waiting for. And do you know who it is? It's you, you the teacher of today. Yes, you are the heroes of tomorrow. And your special power, it's teleportation and tactile images, it's your magic wand. If teacher of typical children now have tablets and digital boards as helper, you, teacher of children with sensory deficiency, have an e-learning platform called Tactile Images. Tactile Images, it's a collaborative e-learning platform where teacher, parents, and visually impaired children can all connect from home to make the remote teaching of spatial education possible. What is the link that unites them? It's a mobile app that identifies the position of the index finger on the drawing and describe the tactile graphics audibly to visually impaired students just like you do in the class. With it, you empower visually impaired children to study graphic independently. Teaching with the aid of tactile images, start creating with an account on the e-learning platform. A free account, meaning that all you have to do is to write down your email address you will have access immediately to a library of 800 multilingual interactive tactile graphics. 
tactile graphics with audio description in Romanian, English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, and Turkish. Yes, seven languages and just for now. The tactile graphics in the library tackle subjects such as animal, cars, airplanes, buildings, maps, portraits, and many others. But wait a minute, you will say. I have a curriculum to follow, and although I would love to teach dog breeds to a 16 years old, I have to teach geometry, physics, and everything that's in the curriculum. That's fair enough. If you want to teach a subject you cannot find in the library, you can create the tactile graphics you need yourself. Yes, that implies drawing and writing your own description. And no, you don't have to be Van Gogh or Monet to do that. Image Creator, the creating software on the Tactile Images e-learning platform was created especially for you. To give you the freedom to create all the materials you need, fast, easy, and effective. If you played at least once in paint, and I'm sure you do that, you will become a master at Image Creator in no time. The drawing software contains a library of clip art, simplified drawings, which you just drag and drop. And the cool thing about the clip art is that they are scalable. So if you want to illustrate Red Riding Hood, for example, you will just drag and drop a child and a house and the house will automatically appear bigger than the child to help create him an accurate spatial thinking. Wait, there's more. You also have the freedom to upload any picture you want in the image creator and then create an overlay contour. It's just like copying drawings from a book on a window. You see the picture and you follow the lines. One cool thing about Image Creator is that it addresses both the need of blind and visual impaired children, meaning that you can create shapes and fill them with patterns for blind children and color for visually impaired children. Now, the drawing is just the first part of Image Creator because your aim is to create an interactive tactile graphic. You also need to add text to the drawing. So basically you just use your mouse to create areas of interest and add description like this is the elephant eyes, this is an elephant's mouth, so on and so forth. The important thing is that you can add as much text as you want, include all the explanation you would normally give in a class to make children feel like you are there, near them explaining patiently what they are touching. We want to believe that these interactive tactile graphics are more than just drawings that self-describe. We want them to become real lessons for visually impaired children. Lessons that are taught by you, the teacher, remotely. This is why you have no character limit to your caption. The mobile phone can read description for hours and hours, of course, if it's uh, charged. So just please play along, just sign into the tactile images platform and have fun. If you're working with children with complete blindness and deafness, you can always use the tactile graphics in the library to add braille text to the drawing instead of written description that the app will read. And if you have already the graphics at home and you want them to uh, be interactive, just take a picture with the, with the smartphone and upload it in the editor section and the image creator is there the place where we will create the areas of interest and add description. Now I want to talk about the feedback and the community. How do parents get the graphics to emboss? How you actually physically arrive in the home 
of the, the student. To get the graphics you created, the parents of the children in your class also have to create a free account on Tactile Images. What makes it a, a collaborative platform is the fact that you can create a section for each class where parents can download the materials and also track the evolution of the children. We know how much staying at home has impacted us and we want to help you to still be close to the parents. All through, you all live in different corners of the country. The Tactile Images e-learning platform aims to be a community dedicated to all those who fight for the education and well-being of visually impaired children, teacher, parents, and even the children themselves. Teaching special education remotely gives the parents the opportunity to become an important part of the education of their children. How does this happen? Well, uh, parents get the chance to turn the drawing you create and send them via email and share them on the Tactile Images platform into drawings with raised surfaces themselves. And no, this does not mean that everyone should now have a PF printer at home. What they will need is a standard laser printer to just print your drawings. Embossing can be done easily and inexpensively with a syringe filled with wood adhesive, which works like an embossing pen. When done, the last thing to do is to let it dry. You can put it in the oven for five minutes or just let it in the sun. The resulting drawings are long lasting, non-toxic and can be reused. This means that you are free to exchange materials with teachers for other schools and parents. Et voila! That's how you create a tactile graphic at home with less than one dollar. If you want to share the embossing technique with parents, there are a lot of do-it-yourself videos on the Tactile Images YouTube channel. Please subscribe. I was telling you early, please download the Tactile Images Reader app from the App Store. And I hope you downloaded it and you could try it. Because now it's the moment and I'll need some feedback from you because I want to get in the shoes of the children for a couple of moments. I want you to live the interactive experience yourself now. Here is a tactile graphic, a fly. Please open the Tactile Images Reader app or any QR code reader if you have a Samsung or a Huawei, depending what you use and then point the phone to the screen. So if I can uh, have a uh, microphone open from any of you who uses the iPhone and could see the Tactile Images Reader app working as you were a user, uh, a child, a child. It will be fun to have an uh, open, uh, an active user. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me with the microphone open if it, the app is installed on his phone and if it's active. So waiting for some feedback. Uh, nu apare Dan nicio mână ridicată, nimic te-aș fi okay. uh, te ajutat cu mare drag, dar eu nu am Apple. Ok. So, if uh, nobody did uh, use and uh, downloaded the app, I will tell you. Yes, uh, hello, I, I downloaded it. I'm not sure that how we can communicate interactively during this. Zoom session. So it's oh. perfect, Dennis. It's you. Yes. So 
if you yeah so you already uh, pointed the iphone to the screen so it uh, already uh, tell you the name of the drawing yes well i have the blue rectangles at the rings at the different parts it tells me moving the blue the, 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 blue, the green greenish rectangles are the active zone of the images. So if you keep the finger, so you keep, uh, you keep the this phone. Is the body of the phone. Yes, it works. So if you keep your finger steady, then the app will talk with you. So on the screen of the app, you will see a blue dot following your index finger. And when you arrived, in the greenish um, zone, the phone will speak with the voice of the teacher. Momentarily, not with the voice, but with the text that the teacher filled in. So the phone acts like the teacher guiding the hand of the student on the tactile graphic. We try this with an image on the screen, on the digital screen, but this is not how it's supposed to be. Image loaded the fly. So this is the beginning. And then if you touch the, the trump or the front legs, or I don't know, anything you want, the phone will start. Well, I, I guess that it will be too hard for this <laughs> Zoom session especially yes. that participants cannot see what I can see here. <laughs> yes, I will, I will, sh I, I should have the second screen as you did with your app. <laughs> no, I also did it not very <laughs> conveniently. Okay. But the thing is that the smartphone acts like an extension of the teacher. So your content, your uh, text, and in the future, your voice will be with the child and will assist the child in the learning process. So it, we, what Tactile Images is, is doing, it's replicating the learning experience that you do, the tactile learning, the spatial learning experience that you do in the classroom, replicating at home. So, this is what it's called uh, virtual assistance. And it's here, you can use it, it's free. It's, uh, we invested a lot of technology in making you able to create your own drawings and send your child, your student, an image that self-described, that has auditory description and uh, assist the child in learning different objects that he could not touch and making so remote teaching possible. Spatial uh, thinking, spatial education, it's very important and now there is a way to continue through uh, this uh, social distancing that we are encountering. And this is, not, uh, this is not all. Imagine that you have a classroom and as you did before, you go to every child uh, individually and explaining that, that, that the graphic now you can have all the class simultaneously explore the drawing. And at the beginning of the hour, you come in the class and uh, spread 10 uh, uh, sheets like this with the fly. And then the child for 10 minutes, he grasp and make the uh, spatial representation of the fly and understand what an object that you, you cannot touch looks like and create a representation in his mind. And then you as a teacher come and 
give more information. You give expert information about the fly. So this will make teaching faster and learning faster for the children because you can teach simultaneously to all the blind child. So if you like the idea <laughs> and if you like creating your own interactive uh, tactile graphics, the only rule with tactile images, e-learning platform is that you make your own rules. You know better than anyone else the specific needs of every child in your class. So please take your cape and fly away. The children need you by their side now more than ever.